hi guys how are you i'm sick i am a little stuffed up my nose is like really swollen i also just woke up not i'm not in i'm not at my best right now but it is the last day of the year it is new year's eve or one of my goals for 2024 is to be more to be on youtube more and i know i say that all the time but no more excuses we're chilling okay i don't have my kids today which last year me would have been really bummed out but i had a whole year to mentally prepare for this that i may or may not be alone during the holidays and i have to figure out how to make myself happy and it's crazy because i've had a year i've had a year and i feel so comfortable being alone that i didn't it didn't, it, it didn't take that much i've been okay and i thought it was gonna be a lot harder but honestly i'm very happy being alone and i'm <clears throat> i'm also embracing the fact that it's okay for me to be happy without my kids because i deserve that okay if you think you don't deserve that baby girl you deserve it don't feel guilty do not feel guilty with that being said it's the last day of the year i was like i'm gonna pick up the camera and we're gonna have the last vlog of 2023 and it's just me and you because i'm taking advantage of the time i am currently getting ready i'm having a lot of breakouts right now i'm giving my skin a break from makeup because <clears throat> i've kind of been overdoing it i want to go out and stuff so I'm, I'm making my breakfast right now so while i'm getting ready we're just gonna chit chat um i wanted to talk about some things because i know it's the end of the year and you know this is social media and everyone's going to be talking about their highlights and i love that i love when people show their highlights of the year their like best moments that they've had like i think that's i love seeing that i love seeing people post that but at the same time me thinking i was like although i've had a great year like i did i've also had a very hard year and i want to talk about my not my not so favorite parts of the year because i don't know just want to be a little bit realistic for a minute because no matter hold on i'm sitting on an ipad why was i sitting on an ipad um let's get comfortable let's talk shit a little bit my face is really bothering me right now and i know nobody cares nobody cares I gotta put on a little bit of concealer because it's bothering me right now just at least underneath my eyes i think also because i'm sick but anyways let's talk shit um and not even talking shit but what was i saying wow my brain i'm not gonna put any here Ooh, although i want to social media it's crazy because no matter who you're watching on social media no matter whose life you think is so perfect everybody goes through shit everybody the people that you think are like so perfect that they don't go through anything they go through things everyone goes through things because we're humans some people have it worse than others obviously but you know there's a lot of heaviness everywhere so don't when you're comparing yourself to people on social media and you think their life is so perfect and all of this shit nobody's life is perfect okay no one also people don't talk about the hardships and that's fine i think that that's fine some people don't like to talk about it some people overcame it and it's just like they're past that and some people like to focus on the positive and i think that that's great i just want to talk about some of my hardships for the year just because i feel like me personally although my con my pros outweigh my cons if it weren't for my cons, I wouldn't have my pros. So like as much as my cons were hard for me, I'm so grateful for the hardships that I had to go through this year because while you're going through bad things, it's so it's so hard for you to to see the bigger picture, like why is this happening or whatever. And when things when certain things happen in my life, I always ask God like what are you trying to teach me? What are you trying to teach me? And then when I 
alter my mentality it's easier to go through those things and i think that's why i was able to handle everything that i went through with grace the things that i've gone through obviously are not, are not um anything compared although i don't want to compare because what you feel is my feelings are my feelings and that doesn't discredit just because they're less than someone else's i don't i don't know where i was going there but because i don't want to downplay my feelings whatever i felt during the times that i was going through what i was going through it felt heavy it helped it felt heavy at the time although it may seem like it wasn't or whatever anyways so some of my cons for the year or some of the hard things that i went through through the year will start off in january beginning of the year i shared this on my channel and i've shared this on social media my son owen started off with a limp it ended up being blood clots he has a vein disorder that was very hard to go through especially in the beginning of the year that was hard for me and my family like it was hard for the kids it was hard for it was just hard for all of us and, you know he made it through that but while i was in it it was very hard it was very hard to see my son going through all of these things and then you being helpless because there's nothing i could do but just be there i had to take a lot of time off work and things were getting just you know it was getting hard because i needed to i needed to keep my job but i also needed to be there for my son but ultimately come march i have to quit my job that was very very hard for me like hold on when i want to cry i feel like my nose sends a signal to everybody she's gonna cry she's gonna cry because my nose gets so red oh my god I do not look my best but i don't care it's not about that it's not about how i look um me arguing with myself quitting my job was so emotionally hard on me i loved my job i worked so hard to get that job when i worked at the bank i i had a goal i wanted to go to school and i wanted to get my degree because i wanted a degree in healthcare management because i wanted to work at a prestigious hospital i did that i went to school i got my degree i got the job loved the job i did and then you know the deal was with my cousin you know that she would take care of my kids as long as she wanted to and the minute she decided she wanted to stop doing that and she wanted to move on then that i would fully support her and it came march it just so happened that she wanted she was she was done and i fully supported her i already spoke about this on my channel there's a video on it and all of that but it was hard because i had to leave my job and then i was it was also so freaking scary because financially i'm a single mother like my job is my only income to provide for my family and although i was working and going hard on social media my social media presence wasn't solidified yet like i wasn't there yet where i could just rely on social media to financially hold me down i did i wasn't there <laughs> and it was it was scary and i think i glamorized it a little bit on social media like i just quit my job i can't believe it like you know but i feel like i had to i had to see the cup as half half full not half empty because if i was to do, i would have spiraled and it would have got to me and i wouldn't have been able to do what i did was i tackled social media i said okay if i'm gonna quit my job I have to freaking go hard i have to go hard every single day it's not gonna just be like oh i quit my job and i'm home doing nothing no i showed up every single day and i'm still showing up every single day okay i miss like two days out of the week but you if you know if you follow me on social media i'm showing up i'm showing up because i have to show up because my life depends on it um <clears throat> that was really hard to go through that took a huge toll on me mentally it, in many ways it affected me and it was very hard to get through but i'm i made it i made it through after that i did i don't know if i want to talk about this i've had a lot of issues with the father of my child and this year he did not make things any easier for me towards the end of the year yeah kind of let's just say that the father of my child did not make my life any easier for a long period of time right after i lost my job he did what he does and that was very hard to get through but i did it i did it and i couldn't have done it without my family there's no way that i could have done 
this without my family it wasn't just me i wasn't just i didn't hold myself down for a while my family had to hold me down that took a toll on my pride like it was hard it was freaking hard but god got me you could take whatever you want away from me and god god got me so those were some of my cons that i went through this year and literally from september on it was like everything just changed there was like a shift and things just started getting better like there's so many pros versus the cons and i just wanted to share some of the cons because i know a lot of people don't do that and we all go through shit let me go check on oh yeah my oatmeal is done i had my delicious ass breakfast um i'm about to head out what else i say I don't know where I ended off at because my breakfast was like, yo, my oatmeal was like overcooked. But honestly, it tasted really good today. Um, but yeah, that was some of my cons for the year. I want to pick up this conversation later, but let's take a pause on the deep talk because we got things to do. And you're going to spend the day with me without my children, which is a very rare occasion. Um, hopefully, it will be happening more often if people abide by the schedule. But let's gotta soak in the moments and take advantage oh my god look at my little pelitos there's one thing about me i'm gonna maximize the time whatever i could get done in one day is gonna get done spoke for like 20 minutes already but let's go going to home good went to home goods <clears throat> i went downtown to get opie for my mom's because he said at my mom's house and then i came back home it is 12 33 i did all of that in like two hours that's crazy but let me show you what i got from home goods my family went to disney and they got kason kason is obsessed with cars so they got him this cup which lights up so freaking cute he's gonna love it um he could drink out of that they also got him this little jacket also so freaking cute i know he's gonna go crazy over that you ever go to your mother's house and she just gives you everything the whole purpose of the trip to home goods was to get a vase and this is the one that i went with it's gonna go i'm gonna change up the entryway this i'm switching up stuff decor wise around the house um my mom put stuff in here opie's food oh actually i got also i got these at home goods salt and pepper shakers i got different ones entryway because i like to just there's like a i put like my keys like gum random stuff that i just throw in the entryway but right now the basket is an open basket and it drives me crazy seeing the clutter in the basket so at least with this i don't see it and if i don't see it it don't stress me out my mother gave me the there were no measuring cups at home goods i was looking for a plastic measuring cup i got plastic because kason has broken two of my glass ones but then my mom just gave me hers so, and it's glass so i'm just gonna make do and i gotta try to keep it away from kason i cannot live without a measuring cup look at how beautiful picture like the plants the greenery some type of something coming out i got a new white shower curtain because i like to go into the new year fresh clean chocolate spoons they're on sale for three dollars she likes to um put it in hot chocolate got those because disposable plates are my sense of peace and i know that this is so bad but listen i make up for it in other ways disposable plates just keep me grounded okay i don't know about any of you but i like to go into the new year i don't like one single thing of dirty laundry I like a clean bathroom, fresh sheets. I just like to leave the dirt in, t in the previous year, going in on a clean slate. The cleaning just calms my anxiety because so, so many other things are out of my control. Is that crazy? Probably. But it brings me peace. So, yeah. 
anyways i've been talking a lot in this video but i missed you guys i missed i missed being on here so that's that let me recharge i don't know how to chill i went out again i went to west elm oh, it's so freaking pretty in there i'm looking for greenery to put in the vases i'm probably gonna end up getting it online but somewhere way cheaper um i wanted the satisfaction of having it today so i could complete everything today but there's that okay it's a little bit better um <clears throat> I cleaned the bathroom and when I went to go get toilet paper to replenish, I didn't have any. So I went and got toilet paper. And then I went into TJ Maxx and I found this jar for $10. It's big. I'm going to put my Nespresso pods in here. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to put it by my coffee station. It's 2.30 right now. I am going to sit down. I'm gonna eat my lunch, I'm gonna watch Friends, and I'm going to try to chill. look behind me in the video they're flickering but they're not flickering in person i got started on the entryway but it's like nowhere i gotta throw out this garbage it's nowhere near complete um and this is just i'm gonna have to come back to that and that is my new year's eve it is six o'clock and i did so much today i feel so good to have my i have my time and i'm just i'm gonna relax now i'm gonna watch some friends so many exciting things happening in 2024 and i'm looking forward to sharing you sharing with you guys step by step because i'm so freaking excited and i can't wait for 2024 if you supported me at all in 2023 i love you i appreciate you and i'll never stop expressing how grateful i am because i am super super grateful and thank you so much for everything happy new year's and i can't wait to see you guys in 2024 bye